so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, fit model at high frequency so in the high frequency of the model of the fit uh, the capacitance uh, between the node has to be added <coughs> in the low frequency model so we uh, we know that uh, low frequency model how it looks like uh, this is your vgs and uh, this is gm vgs and this is your rd this is source gate and this is your drain and this is your vds right so in that uh, you have to add a uh, capacitor okay so what is this one this is cgs and this one is uh, cgd and uh, this one is cds Sir, where uh, CGS represent the barrier capacitance between the uh, gate and source and uh, CGD represent the barrier capacitance between the gate and drain and uh, CDS represent uh, uh, drain to source capacitance of the channel. So these capacitance uh, will lead to the uh, feedback from the output to the input uh, which will reduce the voltage amplification. Okay. So first let us discuss um, how to derive the MOSFET uh, unity gain frequency. Okay. MOSFET unity gain frequency. So Consider the short circuit current gain of a high frequency MOSFET small signal model. Okay, so I am going to take the same uh, diagram and uh, this is CGS and this is CGD. and uh, this is uh, GMVGS and this is R0 RT and I have short circuited the drain and source ok I have short circuited the drain and source therefore if I short circuit the drain and source uh, uh, the VD is equal to VS right VDS is equal to VS. So, what is the value of VA? VA is equal to VGS. This is your VGS. VGS. So, that is equal to VGD. This, that is equal to VGD. So, uh, suppose if I want to find the current of the uh, current through this one uh, this I can name it as IOS of W and this is nothing but uh, I I of Omega okay so from this I can write um, what is uh, IO S of W So what is IOS of W? IOS of W is equal to So this is your incoming current and this is your outgoing current. So I can write uh, GM VGS of uh, Omega minus 
since it is a plus and minus and the voltage across this one is VDS okay so I can write uh, um, minus J omega minus J omega CGD CGD into VG D of omega So this I can write it as um, so since uh, VGS and VGD are uh, same, so I can write uh, this as uh, VGS of omega. So if I take uh, VGS of omega common, I'll get uh, GM minus J omega CGD. So where uh, V J omega is nothing but V I of omega. From one. So similar way I can write it for uh, I I of omega. I I of omega is equal to J omega C G S into V G S of omega. J omega CGS into VGS of omega plus plus J omega CGD VGD of omega. So here I can take VGS of omega common. So I will get uh, J omega CGS plus J omega CGD. Okay. So if I take J omega common and I can replace this one by omega, I will get uh, CGS plus CGD. So this is your uh, second equation and this is your third equation. So if I uh, divide the output by input current, I will get the short circuit current gain. Okay. So you can write uh, IOS of uh, IOS of omega divided by I I of omega is equal to J M minus J omega C G D divided by J omega C G S plus C G D. So this is approximately equal to G M divided by J omega C G S plus C G D. So it is uh, nothing but uh, um, so if I equate uh, for unity gain, okay. If I take a uh, modulus and uh, and I equate uh, omega is equal to omega t unity gain frequency, I will get. Uh, uh, unity means 1, right? Unity gain uh, that is equal to GM divided by uh, so this modulus, this J get cancelled out. So you are substituting instead of omega, I am substituting omega T. So CGS plus CGD. Okay. So what is omega T now? Omega T is equal to GM divided by CGS plus CGD. So, if the capacitance value is uh, uh, smaller, omega t value is greater. Okay, that is uh, the unity gain frequency. Okay, so uh, we need a, a very large value of uh, this omega t for a high prof high for the high frequency performance. Okay, so this f of t I can write as gm divided by 2 pi into CGS plus CGD.